Good morning, friends and family. Chaplain Joe here, April 26th. I'm going to switch back to the other book, Sarah Young, Jesus Calling. Seems to be a little more practical. Welcome problems as perspective lifters, April 26th. My children tend to sleepwalk through their days until they bump into an obstacle that stymies them. If you encounter a problem with no immediate solution, your response to that situation will take you either up or down. You can lash out at the difficulty, resenting it, and feeling sorry for yourself. This will take you down into a pit of self-pity. Alternatively, the problem can be a ladder, enabling you to climb up and see your life from my perspective. Viewed from above, the obstacle that frustrated you is only a light and momentary trouble. Once your perspective has been heightened, you can look away from the problem altogether. Turn toward me and see the light of my presence shining upon you. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory, external glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes on what is not seen. We fix our eyes on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, what is unseen is eternal. 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18. In the book of James, it teaches, consider pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when you suffer trials of many kinds. And I really think what God's trying to tell us is a lot of times, well, in my life, um, I would get in the same place, I would settle and get comfortable. And the only way that I could grow, the only way that I could um, grow spiritually and, and, and receive faith was by struggling, by, by facing struggles and trials. And for a long time, I lived in the pit of self-pity. Uh, and and I wanted everybody to feel sorry for me, and, and I refused to receive the ropes of help that people were trying to pass down to me to get me out of that pit, and uh, I just wanted to feel sorry for myself and feel bad about everything, and I think that was a lot to do with that I was just so angry at the world and so angry at everybody else and blaming everybody else for all of my problems, and um, I continued to hit wall after wall after wall or obstacle, 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 and because God wanted me to get out of the place I was in. He wanted to get me out of my comfort zone. He wanted to push me out of the nest like Mama Bird does with Baby Bird. He wanted to push me out and, and stir me up so that I would start to look at the situation and learn and grow in the situation. And as soon as I learned that lesson, I moved on to the next lesson. That's what life is full of. Life is full of lessons, and the only way we learn these these lessons is when we struggle with things. Just remember that God is in control of every situation and everything you face. He already has the answer. He's already seen the end of it. He's just waiting for you to take his hand, trust him, and grow and learn and, and, and receive. Be encouraged today.